Hello, good afternoon, John and how are you doing? Yes, I'm doing well. What about you? I'm also doing fantastic, although yeah. I have that. Yeah, so it has been a long time since uh, we had a session. Uh, it has been like two months, I think. So yeah, yeah two months so since I, we had a session. So I, my video was doing well. Mm -hmm. So I would like to know again uh, about you that uh, how are the things going on and like uh, you have YouTube channel, I think. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Recently, I have started uploading videos regularly. Yeah. That's right. Yes, of course. So may I know a little bit about your YouTube and uh, YouTube channel and about you? Like, how are you managing the things and how are you running your channel? Yeah, sure. Nowadays, uh, I have started uploading in in a week I upload three videos only and sometimes I create solo videos. And and sometimes this kind of conversational kind of videos I upload on my YouTube channel. Hmm. Yeah. So like what do you think on uh, which kind of videos on which kind of videos uh, you, you are getting uh, views like so like uh, conversation videos on some conversation videos or solo videos? Well, you know, I haven't analyzed yet, but I think in um, conversational videos, I'm getting more views. Yeah, actually, if I talk about myself, that is why I asked you that I wanted to know that whether you on which type of videos are you getting uh, views more. So yeah, if I talk about myself, so earlier when I started YouTube channel, so I used to uh, used to upload solo videos like storytelling type of videos as how to ask questions. I just I just tell. I was just telling viewers that how can you become fluent in this? So I just uploaded this type of video. So I was not getting so much, so many views. But since I started uh, conversation videos, so I started getting so many views and subscribers. So then I stopped uh, uploading solo video and I started uploading conversation video. So by this way, I found my like need, whatever what my viewers want to see, you know, watch. So mm. from mm -hmm. even I had so many uh, videos to upload, but I didn't upload. I had I, I had, but I did it that OK, solo videos. Uh, I am I'm not going to upload solo video. I just upload like conversation videos. So since then I started uh, since this I am I have been uploading conversation videos. And how did you learn this language? Because uh, this language is known uh, like uh, this language is known as a so much difficult, uh, as a too much difficult for uh, other people to learn. But how did you learn? Tell me something about your journey, English journey. All right. Yeah, people have made this language or consider it quite com complicated, which is not true when you have a right method to learn and when you get the right direction then it becomes easy and and when you have a um when you are like when you are dedicated towards yes, this yes. language so easily you can like how have you learned it i was really impressed by you like you belong to rural areas and you learn it uh, right so when it comes to me yes like uh, initially when i started when i started learning this language i found difficulty difficulties and i was fumbling i would go blank nothing would come into my mind but i was ready to face it um, because because earlier i was watching videos in hindi and I was thinking that by watching videos in Hindi, I can learn, uh, learn. But later on, I get to realize it that no, like nothing is going to happen unless you speak. So I started to finding online people. I got a lot of application where you could practice. Um, yeah, so that's how I have improved by practicing with uh, people. And even I start to write it down. And nowadays I do not write it, but yes, initially, you know, you do not have idea like you are ready to do anything for improving, um, right, for improving language. 
so i was um, listening a lot of videos like english videos and uh, watching movies in english and watching kids stories these are the things really helped me while learning this language so that's how i have improved yeah yeah it, it. it is really very difficult to like understand in the beginning when of course when i started so i was totally baffled uh, like that what is this what is this uh, like what is written what is uh, what what other people are talking about in english so i was totally baffled because i didn't know even a single word that time but uh, mm -hmm. i i didn't get scared i just say that okay let it be one day i will also speak english so in my time that time like social media i i didn't know that whether it was available or not because in village area i, I didn't have so i just uh, i was i i just uh, used to learn english through my like a grammar book i had a grammar book that is that was not mine but i used to learn so i just uh, completed tenses and so many things but i i like i was not able to speak and i thought that why am i not able to speak i have learned so many thing however i am not able to speak so then i realized that oh i, I don't speak that is why i am not able to speak then i started describing so many thing that this is this and like future present past everything i i started describing like whenever i go to bed uh, whenever i when uh, i would go to bed and i just describe myself in 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 my you know inwardly so at this time yeah. this type activities i i would do then i figured out that yes uh this is english so then i started speaking but yeah i was not too much fluent because i was practicing alone so uh, if i talk about two months ago my english was totally bad i, I was feeling shy while speaking and i was fumbling i just went went blank when i tried to speak but uh when i like uh, when i created youtube account and i started be talking to people face to face on video call then mm -hmm. i have within two months i have improved a lot i must say this is the reality yes earlier if you watch mm -hmm. my suppose you are going to laugh at me yeah even uh, when i watch my videos so i just laugh at me that oh what is ravi's thing and is speaking in english but now yes, i have improved so this is reality mm -hmm. yes 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 okay so earlier you followed the conventional method like you were learning grammar from textbooks and yes. later on you get to realize it that you have to speak and uh, initially you were practicing with yourself but like, after uploading a lot of videos you start to get people and and you started to have conversation with many people right and now yes. you have improved a lot by having conversation every day right yes. and yes. even yes. Mm -hmm. because uh, uh, practicing alone it's not a big deal you can speak whatever you just uh, randomly speaking whether you are speaking wrong or right because nobody uh, is with you and nobody is going to scold you so it's okay that time you don't uh, uh, like uh, mind that whatever is uh, speaking i am speaking wrong or right but here you are totally uh, stranger for me i am stranger for you so here i am not supposed to uh, do mistake here i have to speak correct english i am not I, i should not feel shy and i am not going to go blank while speaking so here when uh, i start talking to people so i get confident i got confident i got inspired by people so of course i must say that uh, like uh, earlier i i know I, i knew all the thing but i was not able to speak because i didn't face people but now i am facing people then i go to know then i realize that yes this is language until you have confident you are not going to speak you are not going to think that yes i i am a good speaker or not when you I, actually i have i have had conversation with teacher with trainer and with so many big uh, big uh, like uh, how can i say big uh, big opportunity people then i realized that okay if i can talk to any trainer person if i can talk to any teacher if i can, if i if i am able to talk any with a, with a professor so of course my english is good i think then i believed myself that yes of course my english is good because i am able to uh, connect with them so then i uh, otherwise uh, near i used to speak alone so i was not uh, i was not 
uh, I I didn't think that yes, my English is good or not. Not because uh, earlier there was no one who can tell me that yes, Yanand, your English is good. But nowadays people say that yes, you are good. Yeah, you are good. So yeah, of course say that yes, maybe I am good. Yeah, this you is English. You had a self doubt, right? That uh, when you were practicing with yourself and you were speaking to yourself, you did not believe in yourself that I'm good at this language, right? So when you start having conversations like this and people started saying that you have, like, you are good at this language and you have a confidence, right? You are able to express yourself completely without hesitating, without fumbling, right? Yes. So, yes, it shows that you have improved a lot, Gyanand. Yeah. Yes. And I love your confidence. So, of course, uh, in the beginning, every person think like that. Uh, they just think that, oh, my God, I don't know whether I'm speaking wrong or right. Because that time, uh, they don't believe in self. Of course, they don't believe. But after, like, suppose I have talked to so many people, then I realized that, yes, of course, I can understand them. Of course, whatever they ask me, I'm able to describe. Though I'm not uh, able to describe like as a idiom, like I'm not, I'm not using idiom phrases, so many advanced English. But however, I'm, I, I'm, I just am able to describe myself and I'm able to ask whatever I want to know from them. So this is enough for me, I think. Of course, uh, if I talk about like advancing, advanced English, so of course, definitely it will come by listening. And I just do, I, do, I don't do anything. I just listen and I speak, listen and I speak. So I just do this. And earlier, earlier, I hate too much. I, I Even I remember that I hate too much writing and reading so of course i must say to be told i haven't written even a single word and i never ever uh, like read book, any book but i listen and speak because i i used to be like uh, you can say lazy person that is why and my laziness like of course get, made me like this if if i had a habit to write so i would not be speaking here with you definitely so that is why I never wrote and never never uh, read. I just spoke and listened. So what would you like to say that uh, how can anyone become fluent in English in easy way? That listening is important or reading or writing? What is? In your opinion, that. Uh, in my opinion, you know, listening is very important. It's it plays vital role in English language, and whoever has learned when it comes to a small child uh, how uh, like uh, when he speaks hindi or or small child speak in hindi so how does does he know how to how to write no just by listening to parents and he like the kids see uh, environment that uh, okay everybody is speaking like this and that's how they started speaking so i would say um listening plays vital role even if you are not educated i mean um educated it, it doesn't show that you know reading or writing see even if you do not know how to write how to read you can learn this language you can learn english right just by listening yeah and, and everyone should like uh, everyone should find their interest of course my interest is listening it's, uh, of course i love listening whenever i get time so i just listen and i listen native speaker i don't listen any uh, indian but i speak uh, i listen like native speaker because the way they speak amazing amazing the way they describe so i just listen them and their speed their speed totally though i'm uh, i must say that i uh, i I don't, I, I can't understand too much, but yeah, their speaking style is good. And I'm, I'm also trying to do that. Okay, when I have a conversation with anyone, so I just also, uh, I want to copy them that the way, uh, like they have conversation each other. So I also, I just also want to try to uh, make a conversation like them. So yeah, listening, if you listen, so of course you are going to learn so many things. They are, they are, they are like uh, body gesture, they are uh, the way, uh, way of talking so it's really really amazing because listening is important yes exactly. Pronunciation, you know, when it comes to Indian, we people are pronouncing so many words 
wrong. Like we do not correct. We do not pronounce um, correct. Right. So like when we listen to native speakers, automatically we get good. We become good at like um, we become good in pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. so uh, that's the advantage of listening to native speakers. And mm. uh, OK, and you had talked about advanced speakers, right? That uh, we are not using idioms and phrases like What's the need of showing up? Like I have seen sometimes people use it for, for showing that I have idioms and I have advanced vocabulary. As long as you are able to express yourself and other person is able to understand understand everything, whatever you want to um, convey. So what's the like need or what's the requirement of using it? Of course, if you are using nothing wrong in this, Right, you can use it, but as you said that like um, we are not able to use the, why like why do we have to do it? If they have I mean, if people have interest, nothing wrong in learning idioms and phrases, but you are able to express everything in English, right? Whatever you want to um, speak whatever you can to me. So that's all conversation move. Right. Yes. That, main yes, thing yeah. of conversing yeah and of course if you have a skill to speak this language so of course i must say here that if you don't know the words suppose uh, you don't know the word and you may may you forget that word while speaking to anyone so of course you have a skill so you can describe you can make them understand without that word without knowing that word i have this skill uh, sometimes I don't know the exact word. What is this exact word? But I'm able to describe you that okay, this is this is thing. I'm giving I, I'm giving you so many examples related that thing so that you can understand. So this thing is really very really amazing. If, suppose like here millions of words, million of the words. So uh, may sometimes it's happen. We just forget and sometimes we don't know the word, exact word. So we know that uh, we should know how to make other people understand without knowing any word yeah this we is, can alternatives like we can uh, use some other ways to make understand other person right yeah, yeah that also we should not go blind oh so, uh, actually i don't know the word exact so i i'm not going to speak further no you should not do this because you can speak you know you can speak without knowing words and yeah yeah, people can speak. We have to just use simple words. That's all basic words. You know, in stories, what do they use? Simple basic sentences they use and and we are able to understand everything. So people should go and watch stories. It would help them in improving their language skills. Yeah, all yes, right. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, it's 2.28. So you know, I have a, another session with one of lately, so I have to go thank like I'm in rush. Yeah, thank you so much that you have given me your precious time in this way. So of course, I'm so thank glad. You. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you.